Have you ever thought about getting backyard chickens? We're going to show you just how easy it is. We like to order our chicks from a hatchery. The hatchery that we got them from was um, Murray Murray Hatchery. And you order them online and then they actually mail them to you. You go straight to the post office and pick them up. And then when you get them, the very first thing you're gonna need is something smaller to contain them in. So we call it a brooder. Now you can have a different, a lot of different options for brooders. In the past, we've used something that we kind of just made ourselves. We've also used um, like a watering trough. And then since we decided we're gonna be raising a lot of chicks, not only just backyard chicks, but meat birds and things like that, we wanted to have something a little more permanent. So this is what we decided to do. We built this brooder um, just to have so that it would last longer. It's a little bit larger than what we had in the past. And um, we've been really pleased with it. We've actually raised, I think, about three or four batches of birds in here so far and turkeys as well. I'll show you how to open it up. Okay, it opens on both sides. We have this piece of wood to help keep it open. Um, the biggest thing you're gonna want for baby chicks that's a little bit different than when they get older is you need some source of heat. So you could use a heat lamp or a heating plate. We prefer a heating plate over the lamp. Um, you're also gonna need something to go in the bottom of your brooder, so some sort of bedding. We um, have used wood shavings this time around and we've really been pleased with that. We also put a piece of linoleum flooring down in the bottom of the brooder. That way it makes cleanup a lot easier. When we're done with that batch, we can just pull the whole thing out and clean it rather than trying to scoop it out of there. Once the chickens are several weeks old and their adult feathers start to grow in, then you can take them out of the brooder and put them into your permanent coop that they're going to stay in. We have a very large run that is fenced in for them. And we also have two different coops for them to um, sleep in at night. But we have, we have a good many of chickens. We have over 30 chickens. So if you're starting out, you're not gonna need something this large. Um, the very first time we got chickens, we had, I think around 18 in our backyard in the middle of a neighborhood. And um, we did not have anything quite this elaborate. We had a smaller coop, uh, but we did still have a pretty decent run for them to get out and scratch. But this coop that we've uh, built Let's see, we built this coop back in, I think around March of this year. We've been really pleased with it. It has three entrances on the front and then nesting boxes in the back. So I can take you around here and show you what the back looks like. So you can open the nesting boxes here and collect eggs. It's like that on both sides. And then also this is key. You need to be able to get inside of your coop to clean out and refill the bedding inside. Now you can make your own coop or you can purchase them from someone. You can purchase it somewhere like Tractor Supply. The very first coop we ever had, we actually got it Tractor Supply. So no matter your situation, you just kind of need to consider how long term are you gonna be doing this? How many birds would you like to have? And kind of think about it that way when you're looking at your investment. All right, you're also gonna need something to feed them out of and also for water. So we have something just as simple as this for a feeder and we buy our feed in bulk. Um, these laying pellets we got from a, a feed company north in North Alabama, Hillsboro Feed Company. I've had a few people ask where we buy our bulk feed from and we've been really pleased with, with that. And then also we have um, this watering system here. Now we have a couple of these kind of spread around the coop because we have so many chickens. If you only have a few chickens, then you're not gonna need more than one. One will be plenty enough. Um, but we've been happy with this setup. I'm sure there's a lot of different options out there. You really can't go wrong. Just find what works best for you. Like I said earlier, backyard chickens are a great way to get started on this homestead journey. It really is simple. 
easy thing, it's not a high cost, and your family can get involved. For us, that was our, the most important thing, was to get the whole family involved in this process. We like teaching our kids responsibility and that it gives them a sense of purpose. They enjoy being able to help out and be involved. Um, our son, he's kind of taken over the chickens as his own little business, so he goes in and collects the eggs every day feeds them and waters them, and then he sells his eggs to family friends. But it's just been really amazing seeing the excitement within our whole family, you know, about the chickens and when they start laying eggs. So I would highly suggest that you try it out. Even if you live in the middle of a neighborhood, just get you some hens. Stay away from the rooster, they get a little loud. But go ahead and get started. Get you, you know, four or five chickens and try it out, see how it goes. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let us know if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you would like to see. We really appreciate you following us and learning along with us. As we learn, we'll continue to share with you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you later.